I declare today that I will not become encumbered, discouraged or disillusioned by the untoward circumstances of life. I will continue to trust that my steps are ordered by God. God who spoke and it was done. God who commanded and it stood fast. My steps are ordered by him. He stands in my past, in my present, and he is in my future for he is yesterday, today, and forever. He remains the same. Therefore my life is better. Because of what I experience, not worse. I will not allow myself to sink in a mire of disillusionment and discouragement. I will stand fast in this liberty wherein Christ has made me free. For though I may perish in this body, my spirit is being renewed every single day. Therefore I trust God. I lean not to my own understanding, but in all of my ways, I will. I purpose to acknowledge him, for I know that he is the director of my path. One cannot but look at Joseph's attitude and greatly admire him. After the traumatic experience of being betrayed by his brothers, sold as a slave, falsely accused of rape and then in prison, Joseph retained such a good attitude. His attitude was so good that it made a lasting impression on all those whom he met. In fact, such was Joseph's attitude that he rose to become the second most powerful man in Egypt. How amazing. How did he do it? How was that possible after everything he'd been through? Well, each time he found himself in a fix, in a problem, each time he faced an obstacle, each time he found himself facing something that seemed so insurmountable, he simply humbled himself and began to serve. He served so well in Potiphar's house that Potiphar gave him full run of it. He served so well in the prison that he was given full run of it too. He served his fellow inmates so well that one of them remembered him when the Pharaoh needed an interpreter. Joseph didn't allow his painful, difficult, and challenging experiences to adversely affect his attitude. Don't allow anything negative to tap into your spirit. Keep your mind renewed. Remember, it is with your mind that you serve God. That's why the adversary is always seeking ways to infiltrate your mind. But put on the helmet of salvation. Mind your mind. Because your mind matters. It matters to God. And it matters to the enemy as well. Paul instructed the believers at Philippi to think on good, lovely, pure, honest things. The truth is always... This too will pass. Father, in the name of Jesus, help me, I pray, to wear a good attitude. Cause me to crush and to cast out of me all things that would cause me to compromise myself in terms of my attitude. I want an attitude like you had, Lord. That even when Judas betrayed you with a kiss, you were still able to call him friend. Father, help me to possess an attitude that best reflects you. Help me to have an attitude that reflects the kingdom of God. Not the kingdom of darkness, but the kingdom of light. Help me to have an attitude of an overcomer, a more than a conqueror. Cause me, Lord God, to have the same attitude that Joseph had, that even though he was betrayed and deserted by his brothers, lied on by Mrs. Potiphar, forgotten in prison by his friends, he still remained positive 
and of an optimistic spirit. Help me, I pray, to have such an attitude. Help me to put on the helmet of salvation, that your mind will rule my mind, that your spirit will rule my life, that I will be renewed every single day in my thinking, that, Lord, the old man and his deeds will die in me, and a new person, I will be that new person. I will be the person that you would have me to be. Help me to have a new attitude, Lord, a new attitude to the obstacles and the problems that I face in my life, a new attitude to my enemies, to those who work against me, to those who come against me, a new attitude, God, a better outlook on my life. Help me to have an attitude of gratitude, an attitude that is pleasing to you, an attitude of an ego, Lord, an outlook that sees beyond where I am, regardless of what I'm going through. Lord, help me to have an attitude that looks beyond the suffering and the pain and the obstacles and the difficulties and challenges of life. Help me to see beyond those things, to see victory, to declare victory. Help me to have a better attitude for my life and for the lives of others. Use me as an instrument, I pray, to help others. For I realize, Lord, that in serving others and in helping others, you help me. And as I draw close to you, you draw close to me. Help me only to sow good seeds in the soil of my mind, that I will reap a better harvest in my attitude towards life. Guard my mind, I pray, Lord, that no untoward seed would be sown in my mind and played out in my actions. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.